Hello everyone, I'm a Meta Slave, and welcome to Chapter 6 of my FE6 RRLTC. Just like Chapter 4, this too is turn 4 due to complete recruitment. I must wait till turn 5 enemy phase for Cat's replacement to show up in order for Corel to talk to them on turn 6. I also need Corel to take a small detour in order to recruit Sue's replacement. As a result, I have plenty of time to get some chests that um, I otherwise wouldn't if I wasn't playing for complete recruitment. Because, like I alluded to in Chapter 3, I also have plenty of spare keys to go around compared to vanilla, I can get chests that I normally would not be able to, since I do not require a thief to open all the chests. Nime will be the one to open the doors on the left, and uh, the mounted squad plus um, the thief they rescued will be on the right. Uh, Dorothy's replacement is Ray, who's currently burning RNs so I can uh, connect a bunch of javelin tosses on enemy phase, but aside from that he does absolutely nothing, because his Stats are only marginally better than Sophia's. Saul's replacement on the other hand is Calf, who is quite useful uh, for opening chests and stealing. Saul's replacement being Calf should give a bit of a spoiler on who Calf's replacement is. And be just like Sophia, Saul will come with chest keys as an chest keys and a door keys as an enemy, which I will be stealing from him since I have time to do so. I get to sneak in a, in a corral kill uh, here on turn 2 player phase off this mercenary, but unfortunately too much is, else is going on and enemies are a little too spread out for me to... or either too spread out or way too condensed for corral to really pick up kills. So instead I let the center uh, be a bunch of EXP for the wyverns. Milady's, um like defense here is perfectly fine since the soldiers barely damage her and the mages also barely damage her. <laughs> perfect kill again. Hugh has a tendency to exactly add up to damage needed for a kill. Dine finishes off this mercenary and previously uh, I wanted everyone else to be just out of range of that mercenary which is why everyone did not full move on turn one. I have to do some small burns in order to connect some certain attacks that I want to hit, like Percival's two hits on this mercenary. Or not, pff, not mercenary, soldier. And I have to do another small one on uh, for Zeiss to hit two javelin tosses on this mercenary. Why do I keep saying mercenary? Soldier! And Juno drops Calf in range of opening a chest next turn, and Cecilia is perfectly in range of oh, using the unlock staff to open the door, even while staying in, out of range of the mercenary on turn one. Yoder is uh, doesn't actually need to go to left. He doesn't even do anything useful, since Hugh will be opening the door to uh, Sue's replacement's room, and uh, Nime will be opening the door to the chest. But, um, but luckily, I only need Yoder briefly at the very end of the chapter, so it's okay that he's taking a pointless D-door. Uh, Zeiss had a little bit of trouble hitting all these, but uh, just needed some RM burns for that. Katz gets the first chest, which is a Silver Lance. Uh, hilariously enough, I don't actually have anyone with A-rank Lances yet, so I have no reason to use it yet. Juno is moving just adjacent to the next chest so that she can pick up Kath uh, the second she opens the other chest next turn while still full moving. Cecilia uses the second unlock staff use here, and unfortunately I never find another use for the unlock staff in the playthrough. Zeiss killed this, kills this mage, but that's nothing urgent. He just got it out of the way. And Milady will be flying to the left to pick up Corel once he uh, recruits Sue's replacement. Um, Sue's replacement, unfortunately, is not a mount herself, which is why I need another mount to go there. Nime is uh, getting opening the door for two chests, which contain a total of 8,000 gold. Not, not in the form of gems, literal 
3,000 gold plus 5,000 gold. Zeiss kills these mages on any phase, but again, wasn't urgent, just happened to have his turn free. And here is Sue's replacement, Bartray. Unfortunately, because his base speed is 4, he's quite awful, and so he doesn't really see use at all. Here's a 3,000 gold. Milady, her positioning is specific so that she can uh, take Corel from Bartray after Bartray picks Corel up the second he's recruited. Percival gets the first of these three chests, um, th one of which is a, he gets the short bow first. The other two are a secret book and a killer axe. Because I couldn't find a use for killer axe elsewhere, because no one with a high base axe rank is really worth using in River Recruitment LTC, uh, I elect to skip this, the killer axe because it is worth less money than the short bow. I th then pick, will be picking up the secret book, the third of the three chests, next turn, because I do not have time to get all three. Yoder makes his way to the thorn room, but uh, again, it's not needed quite yet. So I finish that off. Here's me waiting for dumb reasons. And then here's Bartray. You know, if there's one thing Bartray is good for, though, it's the fact that he lets Milady, uh be a tile to the right of where she would have been if he could not pick up Kurel. Now I need to do a somewhat simple rescue chain in order to get Kurel in range of talking to Kath next turn while still being able to get him to the throne room the second he talks to her. Juno drops Kath so that she can steal from Saul when he shows up on enemy face, and Mime gets 5,000 gold. Percival will be m making his way to the Thorn Rune after... Oh, sorry, it's a Goddess Icon. I forgot. <laughs> Silly me. Um, he gets this Goddess Icon and then will be making his way to the Throne Room in order to help with the Rescue Chain next turn. Zeiss breaks a Javelin. I just didn't want to even use Javelin, so I instead uh, force Yoder to bring his Lightning Tome down to one use, which is okay because the boss is such a pain that even Yoder can't double him, which means that he'll break the, t the Tome if he attacks. And here's uh, Corel talking to Saul after he's showed up. And now I will use Juno, Diane, Cecilia to bring him back after taking a chest key from Saul. I definitely did not need this many mounted units to rescue drop curl like this, but since they all had their turn free, it didn't matter. Wagner, this boss, is an absolute pain since his speed is 12, which means none of my units actually double him besides Diane, but Diane does not do great damage. So I decide to just give him a lot, have him give my units, like the Wyverns in particular, some chippy XP, and Milady will take the boss kill. His, his, has, oh, and Kath takes a Dorky from Stall since, uh, spare turn. <laughs> so I use a Slim Lance twice in order to take him out. I have to burn some, though, because my hit rate is still bad, even with the most accurate Lance in the game. And Yoder heals Zeiss for some extra staff rank that won't matter, because he can never hit S staffs. And Milady will finish him off. And that is chapter six, completed in seven turns. Hi, Bartray. I will see you next time.